much for taking the time out to speak to me today. Thank you. So you've not long performed, how's the atmosphere? What's the atmosphere out there like? Yes, I, I love the audience. Very nice. And the venue. Right. It's beautiful. Yeah. So you enjoyed your performance tonight? Yes. I, I always try to. Yeah. <laughs> I always try to. Yeah. So tell us a bit about the stuff that you're currently working on. Well, this time of my life, I'm doing my own business. Yes. I, I, I have my own suit at my own. And um, I just um, released an album entitled Journey. You know, kind of illustrates some you know, of what I've been through. You know, like, don't be afraid to walk that walk. Don't be afraid to talk that talk. Okay. And when you start a journey, don't turn back because you'll be wasting your time. And that's the kind of journey we guys took over the years. Sometimes you feel downhearted because you see things not happening, that's in the first part of it. Right. You know, sometimes you feel like it's not going to happen for you. What you have to do is be strong, persevere, and have a lot of hope, you know, and, 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 and be careful too, you know, on your journey. Because, you know, there's a lot of stumbling blocks and all that. But, I, I enjoyed it, you know, um, because that's what goes. They, they said that um, um, this, the, um, music, there's, there's nothing like music, right? They said that there's no music and no one shall live. And they have another saying that they say that, um, I remember that later, but you, 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 you have to, as I said, you have to persevere, you know, and, and don't give up. And over the years, um, I've been singing for people. Now, at this time, I'm doing it for myself. Okay. I, I've done three albums in my studio. And I'm trying to give back also to the younger generation. Okay. So what I, what I did the other day was to produce an album with, with, with ten young people. That's nice. Yes, yes. And, and it's beautiful. And I also have, have, have I wish for things musically. And I just do, finished doing an r and album. Oh, wow. Something that I wish for all over the years. <laughs> um, I don't even know about the marketing, but it's a wish that comes through for me. Yes, of And course. I really give thanks. You know, at this time of my life, uh, music is what I do best. You know, um, music put food on the table. Um, my children go to school out of music. Um, but most of all, um, as I said, as I said on the stage, that as long as our, some of our generation are still here with us, I'll always be around. Right. And then the younger folk like you, right? Your mommy and daddy probably were playing our music when you were young. Yes. <laughs> and so it, it, it becomes um, memories. And and when these young folk, because you know, I've, I've, I've done songs that. Young people don't know is we do the song because other people ad ad adapted the song. Right. So when they hear we on stage singing the songs, they would say, but is that the man who do the song first? Yeah. <laughs> and then somebody would say, yeah, you better know that. <laughs> because they hear the song done by somebody else. Right. I mean, like a younger person. But that younger person who, who, who we, do, we do the song also, they grew up listening to their parents. Yes. You know, playing our songs. Yes. So I, I really give thanks. You know, and sometimes, you know, um, like little kids like this, um, little kids, <laughs> I, I would do a TV show, a television show the night before, and the next day, I'd be driving or something, or I'd stop somewhere, and little baby said, I see a man the last night on TV, you know, <laughs> and it makes you feel nice. nice. Good. Of course. You know, just the other day, I went to a school, and I had a video out. The, the title for the album I told you about, had a video, right, Journey, yes. and, and the video played a lot. And I, I went on the school show, and I, and I didn't sing it. And when I got off the stage, a little young boy came up to me and said, why never do Journey? <laughs> why didn't you do it? Why yeah. did you sing it? And, and, and I felt so good inside, yes. to know that there's a baby child saying that to me. I'm, I'm thankful that I'm alive. And, and having these experience, 
and and it, it really does done my heart good. Of course. You know, yes. yes. So you've been in the industry for very, uh, quite a long time now. 51 years. Wow, there yes. you go. So what do you think is a factor to your success so far? I think it's a standard. Okay. You know, my repertoire songs. Right. And we guys in the 60s, we, 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 we don't need to vulgar. Right. You know, derogatory. You know, we, we, can, we, we can communicate with people who are in the way, what I would say. Um, decency. Right. I think that we'll have to do it growing up. Okay. So, Maturity. Yeah. And, and we don't follow. You know, some people they hear a sound and they follow the sound and, and it's not the right direction for them. You know, not everybody can touch an article. Something that... Sure. Yes. You know, sure. so I'm glad for the era that I grew up into and started to sing into the 60s. I love it. Uh, some people look at us like me, Leroy, all of us. Right. Some people say, well, if you, if you guys are born now, <laughs> nobody could have money like you. It's, it's not the money. It's the purpose. Right, of course. You know, and, and, and the love, you know, that you have for what you're doing. So it's not really, I don't sing for just money. I don't do that. I sing first for my audience, right. for the people. Then when I'm finished doing what I'm doing, then the money can come. Right, okay. Because money is a power, you know. We can't do without it. Sure. But that's not the purpose, 100. The purpose is the love of the music. And when you see people enjoying it, that's, that's, that's how I feel about right. it. It let me joyful it in my soul. You know, and as I told you, when I see young people, like him, you know, interviewing me, I'm yes. honored. <laughs> because you're, 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 you're of another generation of people. And of I'm thankful that I'm still alive and can exchange thoughts with you, share thoughts with you yes, yes. as a younger person. Right. Because I have big kids, you know. I have, I have a lot of kids. And, and they're big people, a lot of them, you know. And, um, and um, I don't get great much. In my on my journey, I don't do great much because you know That's That's you know you're only human being, we're only human beings, and sometimes a little sorrow comes along. Right. You know, you try to, to take away the joy, but if you if you follow that road with the sorrow, then you get hurt. Okay. You have to you have to be strong. Exactly. You know, and 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 said no, that's not for me. You know, it guys two roads, you know. Two roads. And I, I try my never best to walk that road that I know I'm not gonna get no no blunder, no hurt. All I have to do is be strong and, and keep going, you know? Right. Sometimes for that people like you I I, 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 I met you now and and you're interviewing me. That's another generation. So I'm thankful. You know, really and truly I'm thankful. My, I'm a family man, you know, um, ever since I've been singing. And um, I must say that you're about student one, right? Yes, of course. Right? Um, Sir Cox, right? What he had done for us, right? Um, we have a lot of blunder along the way. But as you, as you can see, here I am still doing the songs that people love to hear me, and all these songs were done, as student the one, most of them. He groomed us, you know, because we were what we is now, before. I remember when I go to student one, as a matter of fact, I started out in a duo with, with a guy, his name is Stranger Cole. Okay. Both of us sing together. And he, my first experience with a student was for, um, Treasure Isle. That's a, a, a producer they call Jew Creed. Yes, yes. And then Stranger did one song for Jew Creed. But he was already a big star. So things was easy for me, like. Okay. When he took me to the audition, for the audition, it was easy because Jew Creed already know him. 
Mm. But you could look at him and say, Well, you can't just go fat boy, because I was fat and chubby. <laughs> so, you're going to go fat boy, you can't sing. <laughs> and when you could hear me sing, oh, wow. those days, producers, right, they know when you're good, you know right. what you're doing. So, I didn't have to sing the song of Mel Street, they just said, Studio. <laughs> And, I, and, I, and, and, and those days now, it weren't so much tracks as now. It was like, like four tracks, you know, five tracks. So most, when I started out, it was two tracks in the studio. Okay. Yes. So everybody had to record at the same time. The band yes. and you. Yes. So when I look around, because the first time I'm going to a studio, I look and I see all these great musicians. I prayed, you know. I said, Lord. Because I love what I love music. Yes. I said, Lord, let me go through this. Because those days when the red light turned on, yes. it means recording time. Yes. <laughs> and when I when I saw it turn on, I said, Lord. And you know, fortunately, it was one cut, the first time I recorded. After we run down the song, we had straight up the band. Yes. And they said recording time, it was one cut. One take. Yeah, and the musicians they love that. Because they got paid by how many rhythm they done for okay, the day. Okay, okay. So if you go there and make it even a lot of problems, they don't like oh, that. Oh, yeah, because they don't get paid. They don't make no money. So I, I'm thankful. That, but me and Strange, you know, we, even Strange, that know he was a big star for Duke Creed, Treasure High. Yes. He also wanted to break that barrier with Sir Coxon. Sir Coxon is like Motown. Right. I always refer to Motown. He had the best singers. You know, the best musicians. So me and Strange decided that we're going there for an audition. It was easy for me again. Because when Sir Coxon saw me and Stranger, he felt so good because Stranger I'm already a big star. And, and he was glad that he's gonna record Stranger Cole. But it wasn't Stranger Cole on his own, it was with me. Okay. So we did two songs. We wrote two songs, Artibella I did it out there tonight. Yes. And we did another one, World Sphere. No, I fell in love with Sir Coxon so much that after all of that, I kept going there every day. I was killed. I don't even have no breakfast. You know? A lot of songs you hear me sing tonight. Right. We had done these songs on Uncle Belly. Right. But because music is a joyful thing. When Sir Coxon said, it's your time to record, my belly filled up with joy. <laughs> so we don't we don't hungry anymore. You, you, you understand what I'm yes, saying? Definitely. So I fell in love with Sir Cox and I'm going to I, I started to go there every day. I saw people like Delroy Wilson. Probably you don't know much he's a yes, big star. I, do, yes. I saw people artists. like the gay lads, the whalers, you know, um Lee Perry, mm -hmm. you know, um Marshall Griffiths, yes. Babandi, all these people. Yes, great names. And and I went up there one day. And I, I sat down and he sent and called me. And when I went to his office, he said to me, you know you can sing? <laughs> he said, I think you should go on your own as okay. a solo singer. Okay. I looked at him and I said, you serious about that? Because the singers that he had up there singing for him was like Owen Gray, wow. Jackie Edwards, Jackie Opel, um, again, last said Perkin, if I've never heard of big him. Big name, no big name. These yes. are big names those days, you know. Yes. So I said to him, are you serious, Mr. Dad, me? You know what he looked at me and said? He said, why not you? <laughs> no, he said, I've never heard anything like you. Oh, that's lovely. Just to encourage me. And the first time I'm going to record, mm -hmm. Sir Cox is starting with old and soul music. But Jamaican people start to identify with the scar. Okay. And so those two sounds released and didn't done that well because people started to love the scar. You know, I did a soul song. Ooh, baby, I love you. And Rita Marley, she had a group they called the Soulettes. Yes. They were the background vocals. Vocals. So when I said, ooh, baby, I love you, go, ooh, ooh, that's the group with Rita. Uh, group. <laughs> yeah. But the sound didn't done that well. And Sir Coxley kept sending me in the studio, and I did, You're no good, chum, um, 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 for what you have done, and, you know? Oh, that's and then yes. I went to the dance hall, <laughs> and, I, and, and I played it, you know? Never heard my voice 
sensor lovely. <laughs> no, I never heard my bias without me. Oh, okay. It was on vinyl now. Oh. Should sound so strange. <laughs> you know, the first time yes. when you hear me as a solo singer, it sounds so strange to me and you know, you can start getting used to it. Go back in the studio. Because Sir Carson's studio is like this. Whenever any one of us have the time, when the time is there, we don't have to ask him no question. We just go inside and record. With Jackie Me Too is the arranger. Okay. He's a great, great man. And even when we started out, we used to sing sharp, you know, out of key, right. a little bit, like slightly. Yes. And Jackie Me Too would teach us how to listen. Because the ears have a lot to do with music. Of course. But, but we were so happy and glad we weren't listening much <laughs> until we start to listen keenly now and realize that this is important. And then we, we start to talk more and more, we groom us and we just start to develop and we become professionals. You know? And I must I must say that Sir Coxley, what you have done for me. I'm a witness to that because we guys, right, we're not that well learned as some people do. We didn't go to these big colleges and right. university and all that. I've been to elementary school. Right. <laughs> and um, we leave that school when we are 15. So if you don't learn enough at that age, you know, that's it. So I'm, I'm, I'm like a self-taught person, right. you know, because I realize that education is a key, you know, for any nation sure. progress. So I try my never best, you know, English-wise, E-N-G-L-I-S-H-E, -S -S <laughs> you know, I, 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 you know, and can write a little composition. Right. So we, we guys write our songs, you know, although most of those songs go these in are much worse. Yes. We keep repeating some of it. Right, yes. And then Sir Carson would go to America and we brought back with him American songs. Right. And he would choose who he want to adapt these songs. So like I've done songs like Moving Away, American songs that we made those songs popular. Right. Top it on a string. Or yes. done by Sandy Shaw here mm -hmm. in England. At the Eurovision contest, okay. we just have one the other day, right? Yes, yes. Okay, well, she won the, the Eurovision contest in 1967 okay. or 66. Okay. And he brought back Puppet on a String, as she's the original singer. Okay. And I sang it over, and it becomes a bigot in the ethnic market in England, Caribbean people, you know. Okay. And oh, I, oh, I started to sing for white folks. Is 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 their friend? The Caribbean friend. Cause when I go to England, my Anthony, this 1967, I've never seen two white folks before. Right. But the, but the Caribbean people are, are, are friends that, that are white, white friends. Right. And it's, it's like they would say, "Come with me, let me show you my culture." <laughs> That's how I look at it. Yes. So when I look in the audience, I see white folks. You know, and and this this was this was new for us. You know. And so when he brought back Pop Dinner String, that's what I start making a name in England to Pop Dinner String. Okay, so over the years you've learned a lot and you've done a lot as well. So what do you do in your own time like, to relax? I play domino. Domino, okay. Yes, I play, I play Ludo. Ludo? Yes, yes, yes. And, yes. Um, and I, 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 my friends, I have friends every day that go to me. Okay. And so. Um, but I, I, enjoy, I enjoy what I'm doing, and I'm 67 years old now, and I still love what I'm doing, and people love what we do. Sure. So I, I always say that as well, my generation right. are still here, there was someone to listen to me. Right. Like some of these people out there, they grew up on our music. Yes. They made love for the first time, and our music. Yes. They fall out of love when we listen to our music. Sure. <laughs> yes. no. So I'm kind of full, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So what advice would you give to an emerging artist? The younger ones? Yes, those who are up and coming, yes. One of the first things I always 
said to a young person who wanted to go into music, is to get yourself a guitar. Okay. And get a first year book and learn to play notes. Did you, you understand? Right, yes. That, that leads you right into the real source of it. Because no one can tell you anything much. Right. Because you already learned some of the okay, cards yes. and another thing. Is music don't carry violence with it. Right, sure. Music don't carry gun. You know, when you fire gun, a gun should put away like a figurine. Right. And then we clean up, clean up that, you know, that figurine right, and the right. shelf yes, yes. and the cabinet and all that. Yes. Whenever you get dirty, you just take a piece of cloth and just clean it up and put it back. We don't need no guns. Music is love. That's good. So, so today I would, I would advise a lot of young folk with the, the, the derogatory attitude, the violence and all that. That's not music. You know, you have to come into music with love. Yeah. You know? so, so what can we expect from you in the future? Well, um, I just, I'm singing 51 years. Yes. And um, mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm so climatized into music that all I know is that I don't, until that day, for me, I don't know when I'm going to stop singing. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it, music is love and I love it, you know? Yeah. And, um, and I love to see when an audience enjoying themselves, themselves, yes. you know, listening to good music. Because in these artists that is on this show, yes. they are good. You know, Queen Africa, she's one of the young ones, you know? Yes. And, and she's a great, great singer, great writer. Yes. Um, Chuck a deal with some flyers. Yes. You know, course. you know that song. Um, da, 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 it was in the movie. Mada Show. Uh, yeah. Yes. Huh? What did you say? Mada Show. Yes. Yes. And then you have the U.S. Civils. Well, but you see, we guys, we have truck records. You know? And then, what again, what is going on the show? Egyptian. Egyptian. I know the young DJ who's coming up now. And um, you know, I don't fight against music now. I fight against attitude in music. You know, and as I said, derogatory things. We have to sing and DJ words that can uplift the minds of people. You see? If, if you, if your baby, a little baby like this, hear me singing derogatory things, they might say, Daddy, what is he singing about? And Daddy can't answer that. Because they don't want the children to be a part of that. Whatever I sing, when I fall in love, it will be for, Daddy can say, when you hear what you singing about, when you fall in love, make sure. <laughs> It's forever. <laughs> so it's something nice to say to your kids. Yes, definitely. And I love that. That's, That's great. Mr. Kenbrook, thank you so You're much welcome. for your time today. Thank You're you so welcome. much. Thank you so much. <laughs>